Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2017 here in Busan in the Republic of Korea. I'm very pleased to be in the studio today with Ben Chitonga, who is Financial Director of MACRA, the Communications Regulatory Authority of Malawi. Ben, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Nice meeting you today, thank you. Now I'd like to start off by asking you about smart digital transformation. It's uh, the theme here at ITU Telecom World. I wanted to find out what does it mean to you? Uh, to us in Malawi, uh, this is also a new phenomenon. Um, we are indeed uh, moving towards the same direction. Uh, we are looking at the, uh, IT, uh, ICT providing better and reliable solution to our citizenry. So to us, we believe it's a, uh, it's a very nice topic, uh, which is uh, indeed uh, tying with what we are doing back there in Malawi. And what are the smart opportunities that you see in the next five years and the, the key challenges as a regulator? Uh, there are a number of uh, key opportunities which are there. Um, as we say, there are issues of big data. Uh, we are looking at issues of biometric, uh, but also uh, the opening up of uh, spectrum uh, with more talk on 5G spectrum. We believe that there will be uh, more services introduced in the sector. Uh, but also we are looking at smart cities uh, because it's also one of the issues which we are pursuing in Malawi. I would want to designate one of our city, uh, Blanta, to be a smart city. So we are looking at uh, that uh, to dominate our activities for the next uh, five years. Uh, but also we are looking at uh, the convergence between uh, telecommunication and financial services, digital finances uh, is also another new topic which is coming and uh, to us as a regulator I think it's important uh, that we should be able to uh, move ahead with technology because uh, as a regulator you are supposed to be there as trying to, uh, trying to create a conducive environment uh, for various players uh, on the market. So we believe that it is important that as a regulator uh, we need also to sharpen our skills, make sure that we have got the necessary uh, legislation in place uh, to meet these new technologies as they come through. Uh, we know the biggest challenge we have had is that uh, sometimes to enact a law it takes time. But uh, you see technology is moving at a faster pace on daily basis. And uh, sometimes it's difficult to keep up uh, with that particular pace. So we believe it's, the, it's a, another exciting uh, five year period coming. And we hope we'll be able to uh, save better uh, our operators as well as our consumers. And what innovative projects or solutions are you exhibiting here and what's the role of SMEs in driving digital economy in Malawi? Uh, in Malawi what we have uh, done with uh, this uh, showcasing at the uh, uh, ITU Telecom World, uh, we have always now uh, involved uh, SMEs. Uh, previously what we used to do was to come with our big operators uh, to this showcase but uh, we changed the focus. Now the focus is to bring uh, the upcoming SMEs. And what we normally do is we, we do run competition in our country. Uh, we ask people to bring their innovations and we do evaluate. And uh, once we are satisfied with the, an SME, then we, we select them for, uh, for exhibition here at ITU. Uh, so this time around we have brought uh, an SME, a small startup company, uh, is called Emosis. Uh, what we are showcasing, we are showcasing on the uh, smart irrigation. Uh, we are using uh, JSM phone. You are able to control irrigations very far from 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 the farm. Uh, so you are able to uh, you are able to advise. Uh, you advise the, uh, it's like connectivity with, with, with the system where you tell it to start irrigating. 
but also once the, uh, the soil has gotten enough water, then you tell stop, then it will stop. So we believe it's a, uh, it's a new technology uh, looking at our country, which is more agro-based. Uh, we believe this will take us uh, to the next generation in terms of farming. But also we have uh, brought uh, technology in terms of e-health. Uh, on the e-health, uh, what we have done is um, one of the biggest uh, diseases which affect our country is tuberculosis. Uh, with tuberculosis, the, uh, the biggest challenge is that um, uh, for most patients uh, to follow through uh, the treatment is a challenge because it's a lengthy treatment, maybe a month, sometimes two months, and you find that uh, there are a lot of uh, people who start the medication, but uh, maybe midway through uh, they, they would desert. So uh, we have had such particular challenges, and uh, with this, what we are trying to do now is that whenever a patient has been diagnosed, uh, then we should be able to send regular SMSs reminding them uh, on uh, the time for next medication and the like. So that's that's what we are that's what we are showcasing. But also the third one, which we are showcasing, is on the water management. Um, this has been deployed at one of our uh, water boards uh, in the capital city. It's called the Lilongo Water Board. So it's a remote monitoring uh, where we are trying to check uh, water levels uh, into their main tanks. Uh, whenever there are any uh, drop in the water tanks, then the system should be able to send SMSs to say maybe it's at a critical level. So uh, we believe these are some of the innovations which are good, but also we do, we do indeed if we scale up nationally, I think it will improve uh, ICT uptake in our country. Yeah, that yes. fabulous. Yeah, that's mm. great. Well, we, we look forward to, to catching up with you on that. W with regards to this event, ITU Telecom World, what's the value of attending this event? And, and finally, have you got a key, key message for our participants here? Uh, for us, we are, uh, we are excited to, to attend this event because it's like an international uh, showcase where we are able to show to the world what we are doing, but also it's a learning process because through these particular uh, meetings, we're able to learn from others, especially most developed countries. We know our friends are very much ahead. So it's, it's, a, it's a good learning process for us to learn on what others are doing. And definitely uh, to people out there, we know that uh, not all countries are showcasing here. There are a lot of countries which are, which are not able to showcase, but it's important to participate in this event because you learn a lot and you move forward as a nation. Uh, what we have done as Malawi, uh, because sometimes the, the major problem to most countries is maybe budgetary constraints. And what we resolved in Malawi is to attend these on biannual basis. So that we attend this year, then we miss the other year, then we attend. But at least to keep up uh, with that particular attendance, that's what we have been doing. So we would also want to encourage uh, other countries who feel they are small, they can't make impact. Uh, you need to move at your own pace. Uh, we cannot move at the pace of other developed countries. So to us, I believe it's important that even as small nations, uh, let us showcase what we are doing. Uh, but also at the same process, uh, we should be able to learn uh, from those developed countries. In that way, then we'll be able to at least bridge the digital gap uh, which is there. So that's, that's the message I would send uh, to the people out there. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much for the interview. Good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.